Many people in life are looking for how to make a living, life worth living, and retirement worth having. And I sometimes monkey up my own mantra, but that's okay. You're listening anyway, and you seem to like what I say, because otherwise you wouldn't be listening or continuing to listen. Or maybe it's your first time listening, and I'm really grateful for that. Listening to AudioCast is something that we can easily do on our phone, on our computers, while we're working. We can multitask. We can hear a message and still get work done. And isn't that fascinating that our brains can do that? That we can literally do many different things and yet still work on something while we listen to music or some sort of audio. Now, we might tune in and out, but that's okay. When we hear something profound, we tune back in. Our minds know what we're looking for. And that's sort of fascinating to me that our mind can process and function lots of different information in different languages and all sorts of things. Art and music appreciation certainly, I believe, help with that. Sadly, those programs are getting taken from educational institutions, but that's really okay. Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Math and science are important, but they're really only important to the kids who literally have gifts in that area. So what is education really doing for us today? Is it really helping our children to become all they can be, to find their spiritual soul, to get them, give them strength in their character, and to literally help them to be productive society members as they reach adulthood? These are the questions that are important and are on my mind today, and maybe they're on your mind too because you've got children. And you're always looking for, how do I make my child the most successful in life? How do I make them feel happy? How do I ensure that they literally get the right job for them? And that's just it. We don't really know. Now, I'm getting a little bit tired, and that's okay, but I'm going to keep some of these marketing minutes a little short because I just want to give you snippets of things and ideas to think about, literally ideas that produce a good life. You see, a good life is one of a family that loves no matter what, friends who are loyal no matter what, and physicians who don't monkey around with our bodies without our permission. We literally have the rights to our bodies. That is a fundamental human right underneath the, the NATO, if you will, World Organization on Human Rights. It literally says that no one has the right to modify our food in a way that harms our bodies. And the people who do that violate that international law. How do we handle that situation? It's happening, and sadly, those things that we thought that were only in Texas and on the borders of our country are literally right here in Indiana. We have people that are infidels and locals that are literally putting things in people's food, in their refrigerators, pretending to be maintenance men or getting in some other way to your homes through your locked doors and doing things like that. They're also manhandling our food at restaurants. There's that famous Taco Bell, and I don't want to pick on them because I love them as a company. I'll tell you stories about some of their great people. But literally, they had that stupid girl who spit in somebody's cup as a joke, but that thing went viral, and she probably got fired, and she might have faced federal law for that. You see, we've got children that don't understand the importance of food is not true. They get little education on nutrition. is absolutely true. My mother says that all the time, and it's 100% truth. I remember when they were teaching it to me, I didn't really give a shit. It was the wrong age to teach me. It was the wrong age to give me that information. It should have been taught way much younger in my life. But openly, that's okay. Health classes were also sort of the odd thing for me. I understood about sex, but I didn't really want to sit there and talk with a lady that I didn't know that well about it. And practically, family doesn't always talk about those things. We have to make the information available for when a child is really ready to hear it. We have to allow children to choose their classes a little bit more. They get all the same classes and information, but let them choose at what point in their life they want to listen to it all. That's something to consider in education. Now, literally, we're not going to talk long in this audio cast because I want you to listen to important ones, and I want you to be able to get your work done during the day, but I really appreciate the fact you're taking time to listen to me today. Thanks so much for listening. This has been Blake Enson of Blaze Communications, LLC. I hope you're having a life worth living and a retirement eventually worth having.